Hi guys, it's Monica. Thank you for joining me. This video is going to be, I think, about some favorites in May. Now, when I say I think, it's really hard to come up with favorites, but I do have a few things that I absolutely have so enjoyed in May, and they're not going to be makeup. No, they're not going to be skincare. And I also have a couple of products, even though I haven't been shopping. So I hope you join me in this video where I talk about some May favorites. I feel like a broken record. I come on here and I go, geez, it's really hard to find something good about May just like I said about April, just like I said about March. And I really have to say what's happening right now in our world with the horrible, horrible, horrible death and the police brutality that happened in, in, um, in that particular case with George Floyd. And it isn't an isolated incident. I know that. I was reading about a young black woman that was shot by police that raided her apartment and I know there's a number of different situations and, and things of that nature that have happened. I do think it is time. I think it was Casey Neistat. I'm going to link his video. If you're a Casey Neistat fan, he put it he put it in the right way. Yeah, it's time to put on your boots and let your voice be heard. But it isn't the time for rioting and looting because that diminishes the cause. And I know that when I lived through the 60s, Martin Luther King, Bobby Kennedy, all of that stuff, I know that those were such hugely difficult times and there were riots and there were protests and all that and I am so for protesting. Let your voice be heard. I've said it a number of times. Vote. Let your voice be heard. March. But put on your boots. But be really respectful because not every police officer is bad. Not every white person is bad. Not every black person is bad. Every, everybody, everybody cannot be painted with that same paintbrush. You can't judge police by what happened. You can't judge the black people by the rioting and the looting or the white people you know you can't I think you have to you have to have your voice heard but you have to you can't destroy property you just have to be really super super respectful in that process because when when you're not then it kind of diminishes everything the value of everything the impact of everything because all people are going to remember is the looting and the rioting and the destruction of innocent people's properties and you know they're, they're going to forget the cause and that's what I worry about the cause racial discrimination there is no place no place in this world for that and I anyways I want to think about May and I want to think about some of the good things that have really happened but first I want to mention two products many of you know that I do a lot of wig reviews I talk a lot about hair and wigs well one thing that you may or may not know is that my biological hair my bio hair is pretty thin and sometimes I wear hair helpers, I have a little fake bun on, sometimes I wear toppers, sometimes I just wear my biological hair, I have a very high forehead. But one thing that has super, super helped me that I just want to mention, because it has been a favorite this month, because I'm not walking around every day with a wig on. I'm not, you know, sometimes I have my baseball hats on, sometimes I have bandanas on, and but more often than not sometimes I just have my own hair so I just have to mention this helium for flex I've had this for quite a while one of my subscribers had recommended it and I bought it and I I absolutely love it this spray has totally saved my life when I don't have a wig on and the other and this was actually sent to me complimentary from the Octoly Network in exchange for a review and this is better not younger and this is their lift up mist what you do with this on your damp hair clean damp hair is you spray it and you lift up the roots now you can either heat style it blow dry it let it dry naturally but you're going to be lifting up the roots and it actually gives you some really 
I think, nice, nice volume. I've only used this maybe three or four times. I really like it. I like it a lot. However, if you have thin hair and you're styling your hair, I have not found anything that works better than this FiberFlex. And this, this is from Helium. I would highly recommend if you suffer from thin hair and you're looking for a spray, anything to give you that volume on dry hair, perfect. And so far, Better Not Younger is pretty darn good on my wet hair. So those are the, really the two products that I wanted to mention. I have finished a lot of products. I have gone through my eyeshadows and stuff like that, and I think that's going to be a separate video. But May favorites. So... One of the things that Jay and I really wanted to do was, and I've been, I've been wanting this for quite a while, I've always wanted to have a fire pit. I love camping, you guys know that. I like to go camping, we like to have a fire, we have fires overlooking the ocean, it's beautiful. But because we've been homebound, I'm like going, oh my gosh, let's do a fire. So Jay went out and he bought a fire thingy. We had to put it together. We had to build it up. First, we put it on blocks, and we knew it wasn't going to go on blocks. So then we bought those uh, flat cinder pavers or whatever. We put it on that, measured it out, and put it up. And, oh, my gosh, I'm going to share with you what we did. It was so much fun. <laughs> Jay has it all set up. He is ready to light a little fire in here. Yeah, and we have some kindling over there. We'll probably clean up the yard with all this kindling. Probably get the yard done. <laughs> I don't smoke anymore, so I can't give you any matches. That's not gonna help. No, you need to. You need to get the kindle in to go. I can feel some heat already, but it's just smoldering. Oh my God! Look at that smoke. We're gonna have the fire department come visit us. No, it's not. Here we go. This is a McGillicuddy. Fire. Woo! My feetsies. Look at those flames. Holy smokes. So we've been actually out there at night, every now and then, having a cocktail, having a fire, and just enjoying it. You know, I love walking around my backyard because I absolutely love listening to the birds and and I have lilacs. Lilacs are my favorite, favorite, favorite flower in the spring. It's, it's, it's unfortunate they come and go so quick. I wish they would stay a lot longer, but I love my fire pit. Definitely a favorite. I love my, my flowers walking around my backyard with my bird feeders. And I just love that whole, you know, that whole ambiance of the yard. The other thing we did, it, because my company acquired two offices in the state of Maine and real estate is essential and I do real estate training we have acquired these two offices so I had to work in Maine to do some training so Jay and I took a trip drove up to Maine so that I could see where the offices were so I could find them the next day because I was due to go there Monday and oh my gosh, you know, we drove along the coast. Sun was shining. It was warm. There was hardly any traffic, obviously. And we, we went up to Kenny Bunk, and then we went into Kenny Bunk Port, and we stopped at this church. And we've gone to this church before, and it's usually, you really can't find parking, but, you know, usually it's, it's kind of busy or there's a wedding out there. But we stopped at this church, and it was beautiful, overlooks the ocean, it was so peaceful and so calming. I, I could have stayed there the whole day. We just sat there and we, we just watched the ocean in this beautiful spot. The stone church is magnificent. And then we continued on and we went up to uh, Kenny Bunk Port where, well, in further in Kenny Bunk Port, we went up by the Bush Compound. We always stop there. Usually it's packed with cars, but this time we got a great parking spot. We were able to get out took photos, took a video clip from from the side of the road. There's like an onlook and you can see over the the water. You can see the bush compound and it's just such a beautiful, beautiful spot up at the coast of Maine. Then we went through Cape Porpoise and we went through Biddeford and then we turned around and we came south and we stopped in Agunquid, Maine. Now in Agunquid, Maine, 
this is just a it's an amazingly pretty little coastal town with shops it's usually heavily heavily populated with tourists it's very difficult to find parking they have a beach called the Gunkwood Beach and it is a beautiful flat sandy beach which is kind of rare in Maine but a beautiful flat sandy beach usually packed so Jay and I were able to find a parking spot we got out we walked all around the beach it was just it was amazing there was hardly any people there and uh, the sign said wear a mask do social distancing well yes we had our masks with us we did social distancing obviously but it was just it was just the most amazing I think afternoon that we've had in a long time I mean this is the first time we've gone to Maine so definitely definitely for me May with those two events was I to me the fire pit taking a ride to Maine was just fabulous so the other thing is now that I'm working in Maine a couple of days I also we've I've working out of our Exeter office which is a new location I love it they've just done this office over this acquired this building and and uh, redone it's really pretty pretty office so I've been hanging out in our Exeter office a lot and I just love how I love the setting I love the location it's just a pretty pretty spot ever since the third week of May I've been going into the office each day whether it's Exeter or Londonderry or up to Maine now I'm back sort of in the grind of uh, you know knowing uh, getting dressed in the morning instead of just half dressed <laughs> you know when I was home but I'm back into the into the grind it it makes me feel better to be back into that kind of a routine and it also this whole these whole all these ever since March this COVID-19 horrible 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 thing that's been happening and so many people being sick and so many people dying it's made me appreciate the small things in life. I went down to my mom and dad's house. I sat there and I talked to them outside. And they have these amazing, beautiful rhododendron bushes. So did a bunch of, you know, took pictures of rhododendron bushes. I just sat and talked to them. And mom and dad are doing well. I know a lot of you always say, how are they doing? Today is Sunday when I'm filming. I don't know when I'm going to get this edited and uploaded, but this afternoon they're actually coming up to my house. We're going to have a social distancing barbecue. So life is somehow falling into a new normal type of a routine, but there's so much unrest and there's so much sadness. You know, even in our towns in New Hampshire, I drove by protesters but these were people just holding signs, Black Lives Matter. Some held signs, All Lives Matter, but they were all together. And, and they were, their voices were heard. You could hear them chanting, but there was no violence. It, it, it was these people, young and old, expressing their opinions. And, you know, I live in a state called, our state motto is Live Free or Die. My license plate says Live Free or Die. I've always believed always believed that everyone should live free everyone should live free and I've always believed that everyone was as you know everyone was as good as the next person there was not anyone that was going to be better than the other yes some people have more money some people have more opportunities but as human beings we all have a heart we have skin no matter what color we all have a heart and that heart beats and inside our heart is how we should, I think, reflect upon each other. So when I talk to you, I'm talking from the heart. When people talk to me, I want them to talk from their heart. I want them to treat me like they would want to be treated. I guess that's what it comes down to. Let's treat each other the way we would want to be treated. I don't know what the answer is. It, I just knew that I could not shoot a video and not address what was happening. There's so many of you, my my friends, my subscribers, my my pe the people that see and visit me all the time. Some so many of you are in harm's way, and I worry. You know, I worry about that because I know I've talked to some of you. You're you know in areas where there's a lot more than just protesting going on. So my heart bleeds, and I hold you all in my prayers. I don't want this to be too long. I just wanted to address what's going on and talk about those two products 
and my favorites. So next video, I'll show you all my empties. So cool, oh my gosh. <laughs> I'll show you my empties.